Hello, everyone. Oh, I love it. I love y'all. Mmm. Let me give you some of this. Ooh, I know people are feeling it. Give so much love at the 1111s, guys. If you're noticing 1111, that's because you're supposed to just give love. Woo! Spirit got me about to give y'all some shit! Woo! Are you guys ready for this? I love you guys. 1111, clear it out. Get it back. We're going to do some energy work sessions. I'm going to pull some cards. Guys, sat down with Spirit today. And Spirit was like, you ain't being real enough. Oh, shit. I was like, what? I come out here. I come out here. I come out here. I ain't being real enough. So I'm about to get really, 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 really real with you guys. I love you guys. We're doing energy sessions. Yes. Chris, you want me to work on you real quick so you can fall asleep? Let me know. You have to give me a yes. You can't be on any beta heart blockers and any MAOI inhibitors. So I work on the nervous system. I clear out your nervous system. So your body just starts to like structure itself, right? And then I do some other little stuff and I work with my angels a little bit and I send you on your merry way and you go release in like a mug and then you realize that you're the creator of your life. You're the creator of your experience. So Chris, um, let me know if you want some work and I'll work on you and you tell me how it works for when you sleep. So guys, if you know me, <laughs> let me see. <laughs> Let me see. I got so many people out here right now. I love you guys. Hey, sis. Hey, Chastity. Tunis. Tunis. I don't know you. Hello, love. Hey, Rebecca. Come on, Chris. Let me know. Give me a hell yeah. Hello. Hello, Dina. Shit. Oh, shit. I love you, Chaz. I try to be the realist. But when spirit tells you that you ain't being real enough... That's like the moment where you're like, okay, like I really felt like I was being the realist. Like I really thought I was out here being the realist. And you know what? Spirit, let me know. There are levels to this shit, right? So, you know, you learn a little bit and then you, you get it and then you learn a little bit and then you get it. And it's not like this thing that, you know, so many people are looking for their purpose, right? And so it's not this thing where you don't know your purpose. Like you're already living your purpose. It's just like you're fine tuning it and you're, and you're adjusting it and you're moving it around. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Okay. So guys, I'm Sarah Richardson. I'm the creator of Always Think Up and I help people to think out of that mind matrix. Like there's a mind matrix and it grabs a hold of you. And I try to, and I help people think out of that mind matrix and, and realize that they're the creator of their experience. Right? So my job here is really complex. Like my energy work really complex, but I try to make it simple. So I just cheer you on, you know, in the doo-doo because you visit the doo-doo when you're healing. Right. And so I just cheer you on when you're in the doo-doo to get you to that next place. Right. I understand the doo-doo. We share the same birthday. Oh, then you gotta be cool. All right, Chris, I'm gonna work on you real quick.
All right. All right, Chris. You should be feeling it. Thank you. Say thank you. All you have to do is just say, thank you, spirit. Thank you for introducing me to this. Thank you for letting me have this. I've worked on Chris before. He knows about my energy work. I've never worked on him um, in a distant session. So Chris, you'll got to let me know how you like it, right? But um, so yeah, guys, my job is kind of like weird here for spirit. Um, but I love it. Like, I love, love, love my work. I was just talking to one of my clients tonight. and I'm like, I fucking love my work. I love my work. Matt. Chaz, I love you. What's up, Matt, Nick? I got a new baby cousin coming. Hey, love, how are you? Hello, Mary. I love you, girl. Oh, yeah, we in here. I love you. Tina, hello. Chris, yes. <laughs> Let me know how you sleep. You'll be clearing some stuff out of here, right? So, um... I did some work like in your solar plexus. And so you're going to be like, I don't know, you're going to be clearing stuff up between like your throat and your solar plexus. So just breathe it out. Just drink some extra water. Just love on yourself a little bit. I promote that shit. You're most welcome, love. I love you guys. There's possible keep under low vibration bodies. I'm not sure what you mean, um, but yeah, you can always lift your vibes. I think that's what you mean. Yeah, you can always lift your vibes. Like, if you met me, then your body's, like, saying that you can lift your vibes anytime you want. It's up to you. It's up to you if you sit in the doo-doo. It's up to you if you decide to lift your vibes. I'm not trying to get anybody to do what I do. If you guys want to do a session real quick, I'm doing some quick sessions. They're quick. You know, normally when I'm one-on-one -on -one with you, they're a lot more... If you guys want a card, I got my Abraham Hicks cards, I got my angel cards. I love you guys. You know, I, I want you guys to know, hey girl, this journey is like you're you're expanding. And so it's uncomfortable and your your power is is coming through. As you expand, you know that that's expansion for how much power you can hold in your vessel. And so um you know, that's surging through you. And so it's, it, there's a lot going on right now. Love yourself, love yourself, love yourself. I'm a cheerleader for the divine. I want to see you guys fall in love with yourself. Loving myself has been the best thing that I've ever done in my life. You know, and it's a process. It's like, you know, you got to love this part of you. And then you got to love this part of you. And then something comes up and you're like, shit, man, I got to love this part of me a little bit better. But it's all good. It like shakes you up so you find you and love you right hey girl share this out like a bazillion pages i love you girl tina's like yes please you want me to work on you girl all right let me type in let me tap into tina right now and give her some love Okay, girl. Okay, girl. You got that good energy. I love your energy. See, I love people's energy. I know a lot of people feel like, you know, when they're in the doo-doo that someone's not going to like like their energy or whatever. But, you know, when you can feel into the energy body and when you can feel like a discomfort or like a disease in someone and then you can connect with them and then you can work with them and then you can feel them like take that deep breath. Did you take a deep breath? This is going to be hard to do because... You know, these messages don't come right back to me. Dina, Abraham Hicks. Yes. Yeah, I love Abraham Hicks. It's been a huge part of my journey. Uh, but one big thing was like I had to quit 
listening to Abraham Hicks and I had to start um, tuning into me. I had to start finding that in me. I had to start finding where that came from in them. I had to find that peace in me, right? Had to find how that comes through me, how I express that, how I comprehend that, what I run into in my day. That's what's special about like popping it into your life. You know, that's what's special about taking all these things that people are saying and actually integrating them somehow how in your life. Like if something draws your attention somewhere and you feel pulled by your heart, right? try it out. You never know. You know, I had my clients been calling me like, I know the energy been super like crazy. And so I've been seeing all kind of people like Lolo, right? And I love you if you're Lolo. Um, but then I have vibrational alignment coaching and they are fired up in the name of love. And I love them now because like, even if they're in the doo-doo, like they're still fired up. Like they'll like call me in the doo-doo, but like know that they have to talk to me and like fire themselves back up and that's what I love like if you I love we can talk problems you need to talk problems with your friends and and get fired up right but you don't just talk problems you got to talk solutions you know I deliberately create my life I deliberately create my life I deliberately create my mornings I deliberately create the thoughts that I think Do things come into my life to throw me off track? Yes. 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 Do little doo-doo droplets come and sit on my lap sometimes? Yes. I'm just like you. I'm just like you. Except for I know how important it is in every moment to be the deliberate creator. I know how important it is to see where these triggers pull you off track from deliberately creating your life because that's what triggers do. Not only do triggers piss you off and get you fired up, right? They get you off path with your heart, with your center, right? So you're spending time over here in the doo-doo and you're just wallowing around the doo-doo when you could be creating some great shit in your life. You could be deliberately creating your life. Does it change the doo-doo that comes in? No, it just changes how you handle it, how you emotionally react to it, how you feel, like, do you feel threatened by it or not? You know, I don't feel as threatened anymore. I just got back from leading a drum circle. I love you. If you want some energy work, Anna, let me know. I don't think I ever worked on you. I'm giving out energy work tonight. Share it out to all my groups. Yes, 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 yes. I love you. Oh, yes, girl. Please, I need it bad. Brenda, yes. Hello, Brenda Love. I love you, girl. I might not even be able to give my message. I might just have to give out some energy work, right? (laughs) Spirit said give. You know, give your gifts. Give your gifts that are easy for you to give. Give your gifts that fill you back up, right? So your gift out here fills you back up. When I go out and I connect with your energy body and I balance you out and I'm doing it with my spirit team and I'm working things out, right? And you're me- and then we're creating this bond and this relationship, it fills me up. It fills me up 3 weeks down the road, 5 months down the road to see you creating your experience and I'm like, "Yes, yes, yes." All they needed was a little restart. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So, Brenda, let me get you, girl. Let me get you. Okay. I love you, Brenda. You got some bomb energy too. Oh shit, you are. 
you are only as good as the energy you receive and i have to tell you so far tonight everybody i worked on feels really good on the inside so keep up the good work and that's really what my message was about like keep up the good work like you're you're getting to a right place you're not getting it wrong like no choice is the wrong choice there's there's no wrong choice there's no wrong way there's no wrong way in go in go in go in you know if something draws your attention follow it a little bit see what it does for you right me too, girl. Melissa. Oh, shit. Melissa just messaged me. She thinks just like me and she lives right by me. I don't meet too many people that live by me. So I love you, Melissa. I can't wait to meet up. But yeah, it's for sure I'll work on you. I would love to, girl. Ah, shit, girl. Okay, so, you know, guys, tell me, let me know. Let me know how you guys feel because I love the feedback. Um, when I do sessions with people, I, like, tell them what's going on. But I feel like it has to be a little bit different. It has to be kind of, like, quick and, you know, um, but really cool stuff goes on in there. I'm telling you, like, you know, I connect with the soul and, like... I, I meditate, you know, I have the third eye frequency on right now. I love the third eye frequency. Um, I love all the frequencies. I, I do my work with frequencies. I work with people with frequencies. You know, alignment is a different life. It's like energy, frequency, vibration. You are what you attract, right? So we can sit and we can hide away from the world for as long as we want to. And we're still going to attract the things that we're thinking about. And so that's why I'm so adamant about the things I do. I was just trying to like navigate uh, the people. Chas, you want some? Yes, my girl. Woo! I love you, girl. And thank you for whoever donated. I put my PayPal link in if anybody wants to donate. Somebody just donated. It clicked off two times. So thank you. I love you guys. You have. I didn't even expect that. <laughs> That's super fucking dope. Thank you. Oh, my heart. I can't see, like who it is but like my heart is just like oh so I've been practicing receiving guys I'm not a really good receiver and one of my favorite 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 girlfriends kind of called me out and she messaged me she was the sweetest thing I mean it was like a call out in the sweetest sexiest way you could ever have it right and she's like you just really don't receive like we were all sitting there looking at you like what um and I was like damn girl like I didn't mean to make someone feel bad bad like I wasn't receiving their love so thank you my whole heart receives everything I don't know who you are yet um I'll tell you thank you once I know thank you thank you all right Chas. That's you, girl. That's you, girl. <laughs> I feel it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh my god, I love you so much. You're, that was fun. That was fun. But I swear, I think we've been playing together somewhere else for a long time, Chaz. I love you, girl. <laughs> oh my god, I love you so much. <laughs> Let me know if you feel like we've been playing together for a long time, way before this, way before this, way before this. Tina, did I get you? Yeah. Okay, so you liked it? Tell me about it, Tina. How you feeling, mama? Tell me about it. So much love? Yeah. You know, Chazzy, it's so crazy because that's what Spirit said. Like, the world just needs love, Sarah. Bump all this other shit. What what fills you up? And I was like, uh, you know, I, I love talking to spirit. So if you guys don't know about talking to spirit, um, go inside of yourself. Like, it's amazing. It's amazing what happens to you. You know, um, there's a lot of twin flame stuff going on right now. So like a lot of people messaging me about twin flame. A lot of people are talking about twin flame. Guys, the twin flame is in you. In here. It's your body. It's how you're vibrating. Keep track of yourself for 30 days. Keep track of yourself for 30 days and see how you're vibrating. That's what I've been doing for the last 30 days. And I'll tell you what, it'll blow your mind sometimes, right? Because you don't realize like you are the creator of your experience. It's your responsibility to wake up and vibe up. It's not anyone else's responsibility to come rub your butt and make sure you're okay with life. Yeah, I feel the love. I love it. Laugh my ass off. Lolo, I love you. I mean, the real Lolo sometimes. Uh, yeah, the Lolo is just the doo-doo. And, you know, the, the doo-doo is the darkness. And the darkness is the stuff that we've been running from. The darkness is stuff that we're afraid to face because our ancestors were afraid to face it. And we hold this weird fear that we don't even know why we have it. And we don't even know most of the time what it is. You know, you don't even know what it is half the time, right? You just feel it. You don't know what the fuck. You don't know what to work on. You don't know what to do. That's why I love my work. I get my work. I love it. (laughs) Jesse Schoenberg. It's the best family of life forever. Yeah. Yes, dude. We are here now. Yes. Uh, Rebecca, I could use a boost. Yes. My girl. My girl. I got you, girl, right now. Ooh, I can feel it already. Rebecca, I love your guts. I love your guts. Yeah, I felt you. <clears throat> a lot of people right now, and me, um, just have to clear out, clear out, clear out. You're, uh, we're feeling a lot of stuff in our throat. Chastity was like that. Another one of you guys was like that. Um, a lot of people have a lot of um, phlegm coming up, and they're spitting out some shit. And, you know, it's totally normal, really. Um it, you know, it's amazing what we're going through in your throat is directly related to your solar plex. So if you're having uh, throat problems, you know, you can balance it out with a, your solar plex, you know, back and forth, either which way you're going to feel the difference if you work in those two energetic spaces for sure. Right. Brenda, fucking amazing. Yes, I love your fucking guts. Uh, that posts me up. See, that that is the thing. So I realized I really am humble because like. These are spiritual gifts. You, I didn't even know that this was in me until I had to have knee surgery, until I had to be in the doo-doo for a while, right? And you guys think you're just going to, like, pop up out of the doo-doo? Like, I was in some serious-ass doo-doo for, like, 10 years straight. Like, body hurt, like, sick to stomach, like, not even knowing, like, why I was here. So I feel you. I feel you. Thank you. You're welcome, Melissa. I would love to know how you feel. And guys, if I work on you, just know like you will be releasing. Okay. So like my work is guaranteed to cause release. So some sort of release 
is going to happen. If you are on a beta heart blocker or an MAOI inhibitor, I cannot work on you because what I do is I tie everything together wherever there's a disconnect, right? So if you're on an MAOI inhibitor or a heart blocker, that connection for you right now is blocked off and my energy work will surge that connection and cause some physical stuff. So if you're on either of those two things, I can't work on you. I love you. I can send you different places. Um, those are my rules and I have to follow them, right? You're such a bundle of joy. I love you, Crystal. I'm coming there. Fuck, man. I've been thinking about it like every day. And that's what I mean. Like I manifested Crystal, like our conversation and I didn't plan it. It wasn't planned. It was just like, oh my gosh, I just wish something would come in to just talk to me about the beach. And boy, did she fucking nail it on the nose, right? <laughs> I close my eyes too. We was skipping along. Yeah, girl, working on you is fun for real. I love working on you guys. I love my work, man. I love my work, whether you're in front of me or far away from me. I love my work. I love to make people feel good. I do. I, I really enjoy it. What is it that you're doing? Um, This is what I do, right? So like, <clears throat> I'll explain it to you. Like, as I like walk through, um, I can't explain. See, I'm do I'll do sessions. I'm doing sessions, but right now this is just like a quick, quick. So like, I do for the session like walk you through everything we do, and it's kind of cool because like everyone's different. Um, I work on you. I clear out your nervous system. I see if there's any kind of like offness in the energy. Um, cut it out, bury it. It turns into unconditional love. I fill that space with love. So then you'll have, it'll be full with love, but then it's up to you. You know, patterns are strong guys. So I clear out the pattern and you got to work on it. And then the pattern is strong. So it'll try to come back and it's up to you to pick love or pick fear. It's up to you to be like, whoa, I might need another energy work session or I'm good. And I got this by myself. Sometimes I get work. Sometimes I don't get work, but I get worked on a lot guys. I get body work. I get energy work. I love getting worked on. Hello, Renee. I love you. I'm working on people if you want to get worked on. Um, you know, and me, like, energy work and all this stuff is self-love. You know, like, I don't know, man. I, you know, tonight, my mom's watching my baby. That's why I got to come on with you guys. Like, everything. Self-love, abundance. It's just like perfect timing. You know, I work for myself right now and it's not exactly, um, how I planned it. It's different. It's better. And it's not re all the way on just yet, but I love it. I love my work that I'm creating. When you're creating your work, it's weird. It's a weird place when you're creating your work because no one's telling you what to do. There's no kind of format. You gotta, you gotta be the creator. You gotta, you know, send out the content. You gotta connect with the people to tell them what you do to, you know, and plus I'm raising my baby and plus you know, I like my me time. I like my downtime. Like I'm learning to rest. I'm learning to chill. That is something I never knew about. So I was like a super hustler before this all started. And now I'm just kind of like, I'm chilling. <laughs> what are you doing today, Sarah? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. You know, so my spiritual journey, you know, a big part of my last four years has been to learn how to relax. And I was just talking to a girlfriend today and she's like, yo, you come so far because I remember when you seriously couldn't relax. Like I used to call her and be like, ah, I just got to do something, fix something, whatever. Now I chill. I chill. I don't answer the phone. I don't answer the messages. And then sometimes I'm up and I'm hype, right? And I love that. And I ask for the connections. Yes, we've been playing for a long time. We've been friends for lifetimes. I know that, girl. And I feel that in every single one of my cells. Mama, I love every single bit of your guts. I love your kids. I love your family. I love what you sh shine out here. I love you. Everyone on Facebook knows about me and my fucking twin flame tragedy. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, um, who cares? You know, who cares what everybody knows? People aren't even paying attention to their damn self, girl. I mean... They might pay attention to you for a couple minutes or whatever, but then they're going to be paying attention to the next person next. They don't give a fuck. You know, in this age of information, people can't stay focused on one thing too long. We all have our ups and downs. I'd be on here cussing somebody out in the name of love, saying I'll kick you in the fucking throat in the name of love, and that's fine. There are no mistakes out here. The twin flame is you. It's you. 
it's you and it's you and every single relationship you have. It's you and your mom. It's you and your kids. It's you and your old fr- best friend. It's you and your new best friend. It's new. It's you and the places that you go, the people that you run into, the things that you attract. You know, it's in your heart. It's a fire that fuels you to be your best self. You know, your best self is when your soul is in alignment with your human and you're living that life. You're powerful. You're using your power for the good. You're a creator. You're creating your experience. You're not like, oh, poor me, right? It's amazing. It's all fun. We're remembering. We are. I feel so tingly and light. Yes. Thank you so much. I love you, Chastity. Woo. Oh, I love you. Good night, love. Your energy is everything. I love you. Well, if you vibe with me, then you vibe with me. You know, not everybody vibes with me, and that's okay. You know, sometimes my energy is low. Sometimes my energy is high. When I'm channeling for the divine, when I'm connected like this, I'm high as hell. Um, And then, you know, sometimes when I connect so much or whatever or experience certain energies, I can, like, fall low and know when I need to, you know, lower myself down and calm myself down and ground myself in or know when I need to lift myself up or know when I need to balance myself out or know when I need to clear myself out, right? Good to know. Thank you. I love you, Rebecca. Drink lots of water, y'all. Yeah, every single person that I worked on so far, slam water. Thank you, Chastity. See, that's why you need a team, man. Um, Yes, drink water. Drink lots and lots of water, please. It will help to clear that out. It will help to make it easier on your system. Dina, you want that work, 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 work? Okay, I got you, girl. Ready? take a deep breath Zena tell me how you feel girl amazing you felt amazing when I started see I see everybody's greatness you know so even when you come at me and you're like I don't feel amazing uh as soon as I like meet your soul I'm like oh my gosh yes this amazing soul you know and it's so funny because the people I talk to and the people I meet are like in the doo-doo and they don't feel like they're good enough and they don't feel like they're pretty or sexy or worth it or any of that stuff. And like when I connect with your soul, I'm like, oh my God, is this creature divine? <laughs> oh my God, is this creature divine? See, I love that. So, And so Crystal, a little bit more. See, I'm finding out like how to explain what I do. So When I work on the nervous system, I don't know if you guys can feel this. I check your feet and then I check your hips and then I check your spine and see energy correlates in different ways. And so I learned how to work through that. And then I lengthen um, your spine and I balance out that spine. The spine is so important. The spine and the, the energy flow through the spine is so important because, you know, that's where everything is. And if you have clogged up stuff, then you feel it in your physical. Um, so I clean you up like that. Me and Archangel Michael do some work together. Um, I put you in a couple different rooms that of you know that I made up for myself, and um, I send you out into the city of gems. And so I'll talk about the city of gems at the very end, so you guys can know what to do with your city of gems. You know, everybody has this in them, and it was crazy because I just got a book uh, a couple months ago, and it explains the sh- the solar plexus, the five two eight, as the city of gems, and that is really what it is and like that really is like what a meditation is like a meditation is like in your mind you're like going into this like womb space like this personal sacred healing space that like 
you know, nobody can touch you in this space. Like nobody can hurt you. Nobody can get to you. Knowledge comes here. Wisdom comes here. Healing comes here. Comfort comes here. Love comes here. And everybody can go here. Everybody can do this because you love you and it shows. Yeah, Crystal, I really do love me. I love you. Tonight, uh, I was talking to my best friend on the phone. I have a lot of best friends, but I have like certain ones that are like super duper special. I talk to you a lot. And uh, we've been talking about working out for a long time. And so tonight we made ourselves like I turned on workout radio and like the wobble came on and, and she heard it and we were like, oh, shit. So we got off the phone and we worked out. So I did like this, like workout stretch and then like sexy dance. Right. So when I was at my retreats, they did this thing called shake your soul and I loved it. Right. Um, I haven't danced like that since I've been a kid, you know, and it's so funny. Like I loved to dance when I was a kid and I like turned that off as an adult thinking I had to be like more serious or something. Right. So anyways, I turned my workout into like a workout, stretch out, dance out, shake it out, sexy, right? I was in here all by myself. I got my mirror, got my vibes. I was getting it, right? Some workout radio. So guys, you got to focus in on you. And then we called each other afterwards. And how about she told me she did the same thing? Like, I'm sure we didn't do the same exact thing. I don't know. Maybe we did. But like, how funny that we were like, you know, got ourselves turned on by working out. And that's what I mean. Like, you know, <clears throat> You got to turn yourself on. You got to work yourself out. You got to ask for it. Like I'm giving away free sessions. You have to ask for it. And sometimes that's the biggest fucking step. That's the biggest step. It's just saying me, <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a, the littlest step, but it's the biggest step for some people. And I get it. I was that same way. I couldn't ask for a ride. I couldn't ask for love. I couldn't ask for help. I couldn't ask for direction. I felt like I couldn't trust anyone. I felt like I was out here by myself. I know. Oh, so that's why I dip low. You know, we dip low for all kinds of reasons. You can dip low from a smell. You can dip low from a song. You can dip low from a sound. You can dip low from an interaction. You can dip low for a lot of different things. A lot of different things can come in and dip you low. And and all your senses, something you see, something you hear, a vibration, a frequency, uh, you know, uh, the weather, like all of these things can trigger memories. You know, memories are huge. Memories are huge because our memories are very linked to the patterns that we have, right? Because it's like that memory will trigger that pattern inside of you. So like when that memory comes up, then that's when you're triggered back to that pattern. So, you know, I, I totally get it. And it's something I still work on. It's something I still work on. Like I get triggered. I have to realign myself and I have to come back. And, you know, I've been learning a lot about my voice. So a lot of people I've been working on the throat and the solar plexus, that's where I've been too. And like, you know, there's a fine line in your voice. Like, you know, you want to be powerful, but you want to be gentle. You want to be heard and received. Girl, do you realize how high I flew after our convo? Crystal, I love you. And do you realize how high I flew? Like, that's what I mean. Like, the, the, what I get from this work is fucking phenomenal. You know, it's funny because I'm always teaching people to manifest from the feeling, right? The, the essence. Because I had the essence in me of this work. But when my human was trying to, like, figure it out logical nothing was fucking coming together and as soon as I was like fuck that logical shit I'm gonna just twerk (laughs) all of a sudden boom abundance boom connections you know yeah things are falling apart but at the same time that things are falling apart for me other things are coming right together it's like oh that wasn't for me you know when you vibrate different things fall out new things come in Sometimes you can get stuck in that space for a little bit. That's okay. <coughs> Ooh, we're clearing out some throats. I love you guys. It was the entire day of high vibes. Yeah, I know. And that's why this is my work. That's how I know this is my work. You know, I love you. I, I'm, I love you. And I love everybody that tells me, you know, what my conversations do for them in their lives how they have been inspired by me. Um, you know, and then, you know, when they, they giving me love when they know I need love, you know, guys, you guys, a lot of people are out here thinking like coaches, like are some kind of super fucking man don't need no love. You know, that's crazy. 
We go through things just like you. People die just like you. P- things fall apart just like you. You know, yeah, we have tools to go through them. But a lot of times, you know, being a coach, it's so easy when you call me and I, I'm viewing it from the outside, right? That's why you are you have a coach. But like, you know, sometimes it's hard to see from the inside what's happening. And that's a human thing. And so please don't go out here thinking that your coaches are superhuman. They're not. And that's what's happening is like, there are people out here trying to act like they are superhuman and that's not happening. (laughs) That's not real. That's not real. Healing is a journey for life. You're not going to reach this like mountaintop. I loved our conversation, Crystal. Where do all these fears come from? A lot of my work right now is clearing out fear without being able to pinpoint what I'm scared of. Well, you know, fears can come from a lot of things. So fears can come from something that you've been through personally or something that you've carried down from your ancestors. Fear is a vibration. Vibrations carry on or rub off, right? So you can have other people's fears. Um, A lot of the times, like we store our fear in our gut right? So, and a lot of times like sexual energy, you'll take on all the fears of that partner and all of their partners. That's why I'm big on sacred sex, right? So that is one big, huge thing that comes in. Like for women, it stays a lifetime for men. It stays for 30 days. And so when you have that sexual energy with you, you carry those fears, you carry those fears of that person and everyone that they slept with. Imagine that in today's day, right? And so you have to clear out. You have to learn how to clear out. You have to learn how to cut cords. You have to learn. And that's the thing. Like, that's why a lot of people need coaches because they can't get their own imagination to go to that place yet where they can cut their own cords. They can have their own spirit team because everyone has it. They're just looking for how do I do it? Everyone thinks they're doing it wrong. That's the only reason why coaches are valuable because, you know, I teach people that they're not getting it wrong. Like it's your imagination. You have to do these things. You have to, the power is inside of you. I love listening to you. You have amazing spirit. Thank you, Kevin. My spine has been hurting so much lately. Do you want me to work on you, Bridget? I got to get the go, right? I got to get the yes, but I'll work on you. I'd love to work on you. Your city of gems is my river of lights. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that River of Lights is a pretty place, too. I've seen it. (laughs) I've seen it. Uh Uh-huh. I've seen that place. I love you, beautiful. You are most amazing, too. Thank you so much. I receive that with my whole heart. Thank you, my beautiful friend. Thank you, Dina. We're only as good as the energy we receive, guys. I used to be that way, too. Yeah, man. I mean, we're all the same. We're all connected. We're all connected. Bridget, you want some work? Let me know. Give me some hearts real quick if you want some energy work. I'm doing free sessions. Um, So, guys, you know, when you're vibrationally aligned, it's like you're able to sit in your doo-doo and, like, know it's a lesson. Um, it's not always easy, but it's so worth it because after you feel through it, you know, you can be turned on. You know, so many people are turned off turned off you know turned on doesn't have to mean sex turned on is like turned on are you turned on for life are you excited for life right so many people are walking around here turned off that's why I love to turn people on I think I come in and I turn you on it's funny because like all these people are always messaging me about how turned on they are for life and that's what fires me up that's what keeps me going um and you know what really turns me on is my connection with spirit is how I can tune into myself for protection, you know, direction, ideas, inspiration, strength, courage, love, you know, to be going in, help me to learn how to relax. Um, you know, God is the truth. God is an energy of love that is the truth. Um, So I love clearing out the nervous system. I love the truth. I love helping people find the truth. Um, I love to get people intentionally thinking about what they're thinking about. I love that. Um, And it's easy. You can do it through conversations. It's super simple. 
we're creating with our emotions, guys. And so I know I'm guilty. I was like super, uh, you know, I've come so far in my emotions, right? But then I have triggers, smells, sounds, things, right? That come into me and they'll get me off in my thought process. And it's about intentional thinking, not letting your mind steer to the disaster. You know, me and my mom were talking today and I'm like, mom, you always steer to this disaster. And she's like, "Ah, we're fighting energetically. Right. And I was like, oh, like we're all trained that way to just like think to the disaster. And so what I try to teach people, because this is what I've done with myself is to intentionally think greatness, intentionally think healing, intentionally think the things that you want with your heart. What is the most important thing to your heart? Think of it think greatness on that, right? It mind it's ever changing. As soon as you get greatness on that, you're going to want to change it to something else. Yes. Cord cutting. So fucking huge. Ginormous. I paid for it until I learned how to do it. I mean, I love you guys. It's real out here. Oh, it's definitely a lesson. Doesn't make any less difficult or painful sometimes, but getting through it. Yeah. Everything's a lesson out here, sis. Um, you know, we have many creations at the same time. So, you know, we all have things we want to do with our career. We all have things we want to do with our relationships and our families. We all have things we want to do with work. We all have things we want to travel to, things we want to do with our friends, right? But don't think of it as a burden. Think of it as like, it's good because you don't want to be too focused on one thing for too long. Like I just spent a lot of time to focus on one thing for too long. And what happened was that didn't work out and my other stuff wasn't working out too. So when you have more things going on, when something doesn't seem to be smooth, you got to redirect your attention over here. And I just learned a big lesson about it the other day. I'm telling you, there ain't no wrong way. If anybody wants worked on, let me know. Um, I'm just going to keep going if you guys don't want it worked on. But um, just let me know if you do because I love it. You choose love or choose fear. Every time you choose, you manifest more of it. Absolutely. And you do that all from your um, solar plexus. And so it's like you envision it in your third eye. You feel it with your heart. You drop it down into the feelings of your solar plexus. You speak it out of your mouth, right? These energy channels, they're like energy digesters. They like help you in your manifestation process. It's like a beautiful thing going on in here. You choose love, you choose fear. Yeah, I got that one. Um, So, like, our vibration is like our inner temperature. So, if you're cold inside, you're going to attract cold. If you're warm inside, you're going to attract warm. If you're happy inside, you're going to attract happy. If you're low inside, you're going to attract low. So, it's like all of our wishes, like, are running on this, like, all these different, like, energy things, right? And so... We're grabbing them in at the vibration that we vibrate. So if you're running really cold, you're going to be getting some cold shit. And, you know, and if you learn how to get yourself hot and get yourself fired up and cleared out, balanced out, you're going to be attracting your heart's desires. And it's easy. You're going to be like, I'm not even doing anything. And I'll be like, no, you're doing some major work, right? Um, we're We're setting our vibration to receive our heart's desires. And so... That's why I love my work as as a vibrational alignment coach because I help people to set their own vibration. You know, like, yeah, my stuff works, but it's a temporary fix. It's a temporary fix to the grand scheme of things. Like, it'll get you on your way. It'll get you feeling and trusting in yourself, but it's not going to be like your end-all, hold-all, hold it up. That's not what it is. You've got to learn how to adjust that temperature inside you. Um, you create your future. You create your future. It's up to you. Um, You know, we have to direct our emotional power, right? So we're all these super emotional beings that have been suppressed for so, 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 so long, right? And your emotions are really powerful, whether they're good or bad, right? And so my whole entire journey really has been about... um, learning how to feel and accept and honor and then direct my emotions. Cause like your emotions are your power and they go back fast. You know, when your emotions get triggered real quick, it's fast. You see that energy is way faster than when you're sitting in love and you're like, okay, like I'm creating this and I'll get it whenever it comes. When you're mad, you send that shit out. It pops you right back in the face. <laughs> um, you know, we're, it, this is, uh, 
transformational energy that's running through us. This divine energy is transformational energy. You know, you transform a lot of things in your gut. You digest a lot of things in your gut in the 528. You know, the 528, if you have a lot of power in your 528, but then other things are blocked off, you have like all this fire and then things are blocked off. And so then you could be angry. You could be mean to people sometimes. Um, I always think up to me was like how I found power of my mind. Like, you know, it was my journey of finding the true power of my thoughts really create my life. So, you know, finding that there is no need for external validation. Like, I don't care who wants my work or doesn't want my work. My work is fucking fire. If you like it, I love it. If you're not interested in it, I love you too. I'm not looking for someone to tell me that I'm good enough to do my work. I'm good enough to be this or that. Or, you know, like when you're a creator, you're out here creating things and then you'll meet people that maybe you trigger them for that, right? And they'll be like, you can never. And I'm like, yo, dude, like I know a girl who sells airplanes. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do in your life, right? (laughs) Seriously. And she's hot. I love you guys. Um, you know, we can't make our decisions when we're emotional and Chris will learn that, right? Um, and it, but the whole thing is, is that if we do make our decisions when we're emotional, all we have to go do is like, go back, like, oops, let me try that again. Oops. Let me try that again. When that comes up next time, I swear I'm going to try to grab it. That's all you can say. You can't get down on yourself for that. Just next time in, I swear I'm going to try to grab it. That one's a hard one. Universe, help me. Thank you. I know a girl who sells her face. Um, You know, <laughs> a lot of times when you're triggered, you're very impulsive. You know, you get triggered and then something happens and you get really impulsive in this certain space, in this certain way. And you need to start to notice that. Like, where are your triggers bringing a, an impulse of something that you don't want? A vibration that you don't want? So, you know, you have to look at that in you. Because for everybody, it's different. Like, somebody might piss you off and you might eat a chocolate cake every day. And it's like... All right, if you get pissed off and you eat a chocolate cake, you're good. But if you get pissed off and you eat a chocolate cake every day, you're going to fall out. You're going to fall out. Um, harnessing your inner fire is key to bringing your visions to life. Because a lot of times you'll take that vision and you'll put it down into your inner fire. And then you have your fears in your inner fire. And then if you're fearful, then you're not going to create your visions and you're going to kind of, you are stopping yourself. You're blocking yourself. Right. And so that's what you got to clear out. You got to clear out that energy body. So it's just like rolling through you. Good. Dramatic Debbie all the way over here. Yeah, I was, I was really dramatic too. My whole life. (laughs) That's why I think I love people that are dramatic. I love you guys. If there's anyone on here new who wants some energy work, let me know. So guys, these burdens that we're putting on ourselves, they're self-imposed. You know, we're doing it. We're carrying the burden for others in our heart or in our gut. We're carrying it either for like people that we know, our ancestors, or our family, or you know, the people that are the closest to us, our friends, our lovers, right? And that's why I say even if you have a lover, clear out your sex base. You know, even if you have a husband, clear out your sex base. You know, you're carrying their burdens. And it's like, yeah, you do want to carry the burden for your husband, right? But you want to carry it with strength. So, you know, that sex space is your strength and your power. So when you're cleaning out that sex space, that doesn't mean that your husband's dirty. That means, like, you want a fire-ass connection. You want to be the queen in his life. You want to help that shit. You want to run that kingdom, right? You want to have the power to run that kingdom. Clear out your sex base. Your self-imposed. Hey, real talk. Yep, 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 yep. Um, guys, we accomplished some goals out here. Celebrate you. You accomplished them. You're facing new stuff now. I know that this is happening for a lot of people. I've been talking to people. Um, we have in like a reassessment of the things that we need now, the new needs, right? And a lot of times that can be weird, especially if you have a hard time receiving, right? So you have these new needs, they're coming up, they want to be noticed, and then you have a hard time receiving, right? 
Okay, so that's expansion. Yeah, I'll pull cards. Let me know what you guys want. I'll pull cards. I'll work on you. I'm loving this energy on here. You guys are really loving it. That's what I want. Um, we're making more supportive choices for ourselves, right? So, like, a lot of people are calling people when they make choices. And I want you guys to feel in and and make these choices with yourself for yourself if you need help for a little while that's okay but i want you to eventually get this for yourself like this is about you um a lot of us can't recognize the burdens that we carry and that's why i love the 528 that's why anybody that i talk to about vibrational alignment for free i will tell you if you're going through something hard and something hurts and something just ain't right Turn on the 528 Solfego Frequency on YouTube. It's free. Listen to it. Sometimes it won't feel good. Breathe that shit out. Write that shit out and get better. You know, I really do believe in the balance. I really do believe, you know, everyone says, where do I start? Where do I start? Where do I start? Start in your gut. Yes, totally agree. Clear that shit. Yes, 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 yes. (laughs) You know, we feel like we're carrying it alone a lot and and we're not carrying it alone. You got to lean in. You know, when you feel like you're carrying it alone, that's just a sign to lean in, lean in, lean in. You're never alone. I swear. You just have to feel it yourself. Like you can have a million people say, oh, yeah, you have like a ton of angels around you. Right. But if you don't feel it, then you can, you know, you're, you're surrounded by this love and somebody's telling you, but you're feeling like you're getting ripped off. That's not good energy. Right. You need to feel it for yourself. You need to ask, you know, pay attention, receive the qu- the answers. Um, you know, this power, this great power in you takes responsibility. Responsibility over yourself. Responsibility for yourself. For what, how you're creating these things in your life, right? Energy work on me. Okay. Okay. All right. Ready, Crystal? I bring my crystal with me. I have crystals. I, you know, I just love this work, man. It doesn't, I just do what I feel. Ooh, Crystal. I love you guys. It's never bad. I just always feel it. I love you, Crystal. (laughs) Your energy is super badass, too. You see, this is what I mean. I love my fucking friends. I didn't always feel like this. I didn't always feel like I love my friends. But, woo! You should be feeling better in here. Like Chassie said, everybody, drink water, drink water, drink water, drink water, drink water. You just did, but can you see? But see, that's the thing. No, yeah, I can. But energy is always moving. So that time right there was just like deep in your throat. I just worked on you again, right? And that's how easy it is. So, you know, and you can you can keep getting worked on. But, you know, you have to know, like, don't be excessive in that too. You know what I mean? Like, you can keep getting worked on. Like, I, you know, a session with me, I, I do that a bunch of different times. And, and because different patterns are coming up all the time. And, and energy is ever changing and ever moving. And so that's what's super dope about what I do is like no day is ever the same even if I'm working with the same person it's never the same it's always like going 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 I'm enjoying all of this Uh, hey girl phone died but I'm here hey lovey you want some energy work I'm doing some energy work Alicia hey fam drinking a smoothie with supplements yeah, girl, something came to me about those supplements. So message me whenever we're done with this. I was in the shower. Uh, I was in the shower and I thought of you. <laughs> Sounds really bad, right? That's how it works, man. That is how it works out here. Spirit comes to you in the craziest places, man. How many people are open to receive a message about someone they love in the shower? 
It's where I get a lot of my messages about the people I love. You know, you have to be open to receive. Yeah, you know, I was talking to somebody the other day, and they were like, I asked for something, I didn't see it. And I'm like, did you get time? They're like, no. <laughs> I wanted it right now. Well, that's not how it works. It's divine time. Yeah, you want me to, uh, uh, you want me to work on you? Let me know, Leash. Even give me some loves, because I know those come through a lot faster. <clears throat> I'm working on whoever wants worked on. Share this out with whoever, um, you know, wants this or needs this. The toilet. You're on the toilet. Your hashtags on this video post are the greatest. What do they say? I don't even know. I try to, like, copy them in my notes so I don't have to keep writing that shit because that is a pain in the ass. I'm trying to make my work life easier right now. Work life balance. <laughs> so I don't even know what they say. Self love, sacred sex. I put it all in there. Fuck yourself. <laughs> In the name of love, of course. That's what I mean, man. There ain't no one way for spirit. Spirit knows I cuss and I make jokes. I love you guys. Share this out, I'm telling you. Grounding, haha, not grounding. You know, sometimes you ground, sometimes you don't ground. Right now I have on the third eye vibe, so everybody's like heady. So, you know, if you can ground in, that'll make you feel good. Background is like a real one. Yeah, from the root up, from the root up, from the root up. Uh, bah, 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 bah. I got a new logo today. Shout out to my helper. I got a helper. I manifested a helper. I got a helper. I got a logo. Boom, 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 boom. Things are working like magic. I've been doing this for a long time. Haven't had a logo. I don't even know how to do it. I was like drawing it. You can't draw it. Transfer it. What the fuck ever. Grounding. Woo woo. I can't do emojis here, but I'm sending big hearts and hugs. I'm always down for some Reiki or some energy work. And no, I mean, sometimes ideas come to me in the bathroom when I'm sitting there chilling. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll work on you real quick. Yeah, in the bathroom, they come to me too. I love you. <laughs> you gave me a giant hug. I fucking love your guts. <laughs> I love you, Leash. Drink some water. Woo woo. That's awesome. I love you. Ha ha. I love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Um, you know, guys. Uh, if you feel it and you feel like you're in good energy, enjoy it. Right. Simple. If you feel it and you don't feel like you have good energy send it love that's all you gotta do send it love if you feel in yourself and something doesn't feel good something feels anything less than good send it love it works it works it works it works delicious vibes girl i hope you feel them oh yeah i felt them. you came up and like gave me like this giant hug are you crying no uh -uh, i'm not crying my uh, right eye is like itchy on the side. I don't know if it's from my new eyelashes or from one of you. I don't know. You know, I transmute a lot of energy through, so I'm constantly feeling it in my body. All of you guys, I love it. <clears throat> my the Facebook algorithms are all whack, so I'm not sure if your video is showing up as it should appear on pages right now. You know what, girl? I'm not even worried about it. Whoever's meant to be here is going to be here. Whoever isn't, isn't. If anybody wants a session with me, message me later. I'm good, right? Wow, lots of love coming your way from Liverpool, UK. All you need is love. Yes, Joseph. Only love is real, brother. Uh, We don't need to get rid of anything, right? We just need to give it love. You don't need to get rid of it. You need to give it love. It doesn't need to get rid of. We need everything we have. We just need to give it love. A lot of our parts 
we don't give love to. Um, you know, being incomplete is fine because you're still divine. Do you know how long I've been incomplete? And that's, I think that was like the, the, the guts of the message today is that like everyone thinks that they're going to do this thing that's going to complete them. They're going to marry this person that's going to complete them. They're going to have this friendship or this relationship or whatever. It's going to complete them. None of those things are going to completely, like you must complete yourself. You must completely merge in with the beloved to complete yourself and then you'll get it. You'll get what I talk about. You'll get how I talk. You'll get why I talk about the things, how I talk about them, right? I love you guys. If you want some energy work, let me know. I'm giving free sessions out tonight. You can't be taking no MAOI inhibitors and you can't be taking no beta heart blockers because that surges the connection back through there. Anything else, I'm working on you. I'm giving out love tonight because I feel it back inside of me. Guys, we are learning to master ourselves. It's fucking excited. Get pumped up. Love yourself. Master yourself. Things are falling down when you're mastering yourself because we need to rebuild. A lot of us have built foundations on a rocky place. We weren't sure what we were doing. We weren't fully living from our hearts. We were thinking about things in other ways, what other people wanted or expected from us. So things are falling down as you're learning to master yourself, as you're learning to merge with the beloved, right? But we're rebuilding. And so give love to people that are rebuilding. If you don't have any love to give, stay the fuck back, right? Um, A lot of us are feeling very open and vulnerable and scared. And I love you. That's why I do this because I know what it feels like. But I also know what it feels like to be like, oh, shit, like I'm so vulnerable and I'm so open. I'm so scared. And I know what it takes, you know, I know what it takes and I know what it feels like to be grateful that I'm more open now than I've ever been before. To be grateful that I've expanded to the place where I didn't even really know existed. I didn't know I could come here. I didn't know that you know, in this same experience, I would have so much expansion. It's great. It's wonderful. That's why I love it. That's why I share it. Yes. Yes. Rebuilding. I so feel this in so many ways. Yeah. We're all doing it, sis. I love you. I love you. And that's the process of vibrational alignment is that, you know, as the energy changes, you're always rebuilding and restructuring. Um, we're here without our wings. That was a message I got tonight. And I was like, (laughs) what? And so, you know, I believe from what I got tonight that the archangels and angels, us, we move things with our wings, right? We don't have to do anything. We just move it around, right? Just as soon as we move it, it just moves. But we're here without our wings. We're on earth. We don't have our wings on. Show me somebody with wings and I'm going to hang out with them. (laughs) I love the wings. You know, the wing, it's funny because I didn't realize that. And then tonight I'm like, well, the wings are what I work with. Like when I work with the angels, it's the wings. It's the wings. I don't have my wings, right? But um, we're learning to move different. So this expansion and this enlightenment, right? We're learning to move different without our wings. We're learning to move things without our wings. We're learning to create things without our wings. We're learning to give love without our wings those wings are love but because we're on the on the earth and we don't have our wings we have to move this shit with our hearts like our heart is our wings your heart is your wings it you know it it's like it none of it makes sense your heart is your wings what it is i'm telling you i'm telling you that's what was going out tonight i'm just really i'm i'm relaying messages It's so incredible to see so many women standing in their power and speaking the truth. Biggest shift of humankind. Fucking right, man. You know, of course I picked to come here now (laughs) with my crazy beloved ass, right? Um, So yeah, we're shooting our wishes up and we're trusting and we're having faith and we're having hope in our wishes and our visions and our things we can see and feel and the essence of those things, right? We're learning this and I'm telling you, you create this shit. Spiritual healing is real. These, My work is real as fuck. I, I can't wait to hear what everybody says because everyone's going to be releasing. Yeah, you're going to feel good. You're going to feel peaceful. You're going to feel all these different things, empowered, all this stuff, but you will fire off. You will release. You will have to learn your, to love yourself in the release. I guarantee it. Um, it's easy to forget about yourself. It's easy to get distracted. It's easy to feel it all. But then 
it gets easier the more you train yourself to see that all isn't lost when things fall down. And that's what you do. You have to um, you have to keep going in. Personal forgiveness, you have to keep going in. You have to keep forgiving yourself. When, when you're feeling this all, you have to forgive yourself. That's the key to self-mastery. Forgiving yourself, loving yourself. That's the key. Be gentle with yourself. Let people off the hook that you have on the hook. We're vibrating different. So what happens is when you're vibrating different, the people that you used to fuck with, now your vibrations are different. So like today I was talking to one of my clients and she was talking about, you know, an energy being around her feeling like uh, fingernails on a chalkboard. That's because the vibrations are different. You don't merge anymore. You're clashing. Like you're to a place where you're clashing vibrations. You're vibing different. Not everyone can love us back, guys. Not everyone can love us back. That was a deep message for tonight, too. We got to still love us. Even if they can't love us back, we got to still love us. We really do. I mean, that's so fucking important. I don't know if you have a necklace on, but I keep seeing flashes of blue. I don't know if it's a reflection of spirit, but it looks cool. Does anyone else see that? I love you. Yeah, I have my earphones on because you can hear my videos better. Uh, But that's cool, though. (laughs) It's right on my throat chakra. Maybe it's giving me the voice. (laughs) <laughs> yes it is manifesting like a boss yes alicia's one of my coaching clients and she's getting it out here i love her she is getting it out here in so many different ways i love it share you know share it in the in the group leash how you've been manifesting like a mug who wants a card crystal by default I could have attracted unwanted relationships it's okay we've all done it I just did it (laughs) many of the relationships or experiences you have attracted you would not have deliberately attracted if you've been doing it on purpose But much of your attraction is not done by deliberate intent, but rather by default. You're on autopilot, sis. It's important to understand that you get what you think about. Whether you want it or not. And chronic thoughts about unwanted things invite or ask for matching experiences. The laws of attraction makes it so. I love you, sis. I love you. I love you so much. You know, and it's okay. It's okay, boo. Um, <laughs> I know. I love you. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> you know, um, you, all you got to do is change it. You know, we get 86,000 breaths a day. And every breath is a chance to start new. I'm going to pull you an angel card to see what the angels have to say. I know that was a deep one for you, mama. You know, and all you got to do is just go in there switch up that vibration i think i sent you the 528 listen to the 528 self ego uh listen to it while you sleep if you don't know what you're doing just listen to it while you sleep love yourself Ooh! imagine your wings wrapping around you it might get some wings wrapping around you somehow I'll give you one more oh three came out You are understood. You don't feel very understood, but you are. We have all, by default, attracted relationships that we didn't want. You know, now you're just aware of it. That's great. Physical outlet. I think it was you that I messaged tonight about the workout. Do you need a workout, love? Sometimes when we got this energy coming into us and we're sitting in our um, relationships that are unwanted, I told you I was just in a relationship unwanted, right? And I told you I had to move my body today. Wow, I love you. Switch up the vibes. Yes, I'm taking some advice here too. Yeah, Alicia, uh, a lot of these messages can be for a lot of you guys on here. So I love that you said that. Um, Authority. You know, through the divine is where you're going to find this authority that you're looking for. Um, It's going to come from the divine. It's going to come inside you. It's going to come in through you. And it's for you. And you're going to know that it's for you. And it's not going to come super fast all the time either, right? Um, Sometimes, 
you know, it takes a little bit of time for it to come in and you have to be patient and you have to be on divine timing and, and with relationships, you have to be patient and on divine timing and on your off time and on your downtime, focus on your vibration. That's my advice to you, love. Um, just focus on your vibration and, and know that nothing else matters except for your internal vibration and how you feel on the inside. So once you start doing that, you're just going to start um, attracting whatever you want. Who was that one for? That was for Crystal. Would you like one, love? Oh, cars are always fun. Would you like one, Rebecca? I would love a card. Okay, Chastity. My love. My lifelong fairy friend. Ooh. I love it, too, because, like, these cards will have a little color in them, and it just reminds me of, like, the chakra that you're in and just everything you know spirit comes to me in so many different ways it's hard to you know rein it in and process like you know how you feel about it Woo! a belief is only a thought i keep thinking you know and that's your third eye that's that's the third eye all the way around it's the third eye in there it's the third eye in the color the third eye is in your gut you see what i'm fucking saying it just all makes sense right <laughs> You are the all. You have the all in your hands. You know, everything that your hands touch. Oh, girl, it's golden. That's why I love all your creations. A belief is only a thought you keep thinking. A belief is only a thought you continue to think. A belief is only your habit of thought. Always think up, always think up, always think up. It's only a practice thought. Train your brain. A belief is only a thought you think a lot. A belief is only a thought you think a lot. Train your brain. Always think up. So if a belief is only a thought that you keep thinking and you keep thinking a thought that is in opposition to what you want, then the reason you don't get what you want is because you keep thinking a thought that's in opposition with what you want. And you feel it in your gut. I love you, Chastity. You want me to give you an angel card? Because I know that was that was a good one. See that? I love the Abraham Hicks cards because they're light. They're fluffy. You know, they, they're inspiration. And then I pull the angel cards to help you calm. Like, all right. So a belief is only a thought that you keep thinking. And what does that mean? And how do I quit thinking? It, you know, I tell you guys when I'm massaging people, that thinker muscle, that thinker muscle is like the tightest muscle in most people. You wouldn't even imagine the way most people think, 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 think. That's why I always think up is so huge for me. It's always thinking up past that matrix mind. Come on, angels. Give me a card. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes all they want to do is talk to you. Trust. Trust that everything is in your hands, sis. Trust that, you know, when you, he's walking on water, you know, when you, when you get those emotions intact, uh, you know, you got the whole world in your hands. Don't let your emotions run you. You can be gentle and be powerful. Allow love. There might be somewhere in your life uh, where you're not allowing love. Um, you know, when you, when you keep thinking a thought that's out of alignment with who you are as a person, you're not allowing love. You know, when you're thinking opposite thoughts of love, you're, you're not in love. I, you know, I love you and I know you love yourself and I know you do some badass work for love. Did you guys ever do the syrup? You know, but you know, it's funny. We could think that we're like fucking self-love masters out here. And then the angels are like, um, can you love yourself, please? Make a wish. Oh, chastity, see? Make a wish in your third eye. Make a wish. Your third eye is connected to the all. You are so fucking special. <laughs> you know that, though. <laughs> you know that. That's what I love about people, because we know that we're special. Share it out, guys. If you guys know anybody who wants some energy work or a card, let me know. I'll take one. Leash, yeah, I got you. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard, it's hard to work out. I don't know. When I'm on these live videos, I can't remember.
That one was for chastity. I know that. I intend to see the best in everyone. Isn't that crazy? That's what you're just talking about today. <laughs> Double confirm. You can never consistently motivate anyone to anything. But when you see the best of them, you go over to where your version of the best of them is and you align with that and offer one signal, one vibration. They're feeling you vibrationally, right? Um, now you are part of the inspiration that you see. Oh, shit. So, you know, thinking the best of someone, you know, even if someone's in their doo-doo, like seeing them you know, the way I see people, seeing their souls, how amazing their souls are. Have you ever had that experience yourself when someone sees you and loves you and expects the best of you? Do you not shine in ways you never shined before? And do you not find it really hard to shine when another does not look? And do you not find it really hard to shine when another does not look for the best in you? So when somebody isn't seeing um, the best in you, it makes you feel less and so you know when you're feeling less you know you need to love on the person who is doing that you know you need to see the best in them and that's why I always say like put up a protection that will um it's like a mirror that I put up and I transfer everything into unconditional love, everything that everybody sends at me because, you know, some, a lot of people have a lot of fears and they're not in alignment and they don't see, you know, like this is like you seeing with your mind's eye that they're great. And so you see this person's gray. And so just by you just seeing them that way from your house, not talking, not saying anything, your light is going to go right through them. That's how it works. Like you're a healer. You're definitely a healer. You just have your own way. You have to figure that out. For sure, Leash. And I know it's difficult. And I'm sure you want. You know what you want. You have a divine purpose. Holy shit, boss. <laughs> You're a healer. You just have to find out how to do it. And, you know, I bet you by doing that exercise, um, seeing the best in the people that feel like low vibe to you, um, that's really going to do some major shit. Love yourself. You know, love yourself. You, you can't make people change their minds. They mimic your vibration. You have the authority over it through the divine to change that whole vibration. Like, that's what you're here for. You're here to change vibrations. But you can only change vibrations through your own vibration. I love you. Ooh, I would love a card. Yes, Katrina. I love you. My homie. <laughs> I love this one. I can look for things I appreciate in relationships. Yellow. In them guts. In the eye, right? Look for things you appreciate in your third eye about your relationships, right? Because sometimes even the hardest relationship will teach you. Sometimes the best relationship that is lost will, you know, motivate you, right? You cannot get the relationship of your dreams when your chronic thoughts about relationships feel lonely, angry, or worried, or disappointed. But as you look for things you appreciate in yourself and others... As you make lists of positive aspects of past and present relationships, you train your vibrational offering to match the vibration of your desires. And your perfect mate just then comes. It is law. And guys, this doesn't have to be your mate. This can be anything. This can be, you know, business partners, friends to hang out with, friends to work out with. You know what I mean? You have to create what you want. You know, I, I meet so many people that they don't even like get turned on by their friends you know their friends are a drag to them and you create that by the vibration that you vibrate at now that might be a lover right and so what do we do like in our in our girl relationships or our guy relationships or whatever you know we take the the good from the things that they left with us the, the things that we experienced together and we leave whatever doesn't serve us and that's how we keep creating like things are ever changing and you have to keep creating your life you have to keep creating let me pull you some angel cards katrina you know it's all good stuff it's just like pinging down on maybe where you're at in your life maybe there's some relationships in your life that feel a little off i don't know um 
it's all us. You know, when my relationships are off, my relationship that was just off, the things I was creating, it was all me. I I said, you know, <laughs> I talked to Spirit, it's like, I don't know if there's a song like, call me out. Spirit calls me the fuck out. I'm learning how to be more patient with it. Angel, come on. Give me a card for Katrina. That's too many. I'm going to take this one. Show appreciation. And, you know, that goes into, like, the relationship piece, too. So, um, you know, when when you have good relationships in your life and you have good things in your life, a lot of times the good we don't really show enough appreciation for. And so if you're trying to move some energy in any kind of relationship um, standpoint, show appreciation for the relationships you do have or the things that you do see um, – that, like your friends have in relationships and stuff like that that really helps like gratitude is the attitude I get up in my journal every day and I'm like yo no matter how I'm feeling thank you for it all thank you for food in my fridge thank you for um you know conversations and the people I meet everything's on divine timing so I feel like you're thinking about some sort of relationship partnership business ship and maybe you're feeling rushed about it. And so take some time, relax, show inspiration. Know that in divine timing, all your heart's desires are going to be met. For sure. You know, you just have to work on your frequency, the frequency that you vibrate. Sometimes if we're not getting the things that we want, we're not vibrating at the right, right frequency. And so we're going to get a shitty version of it. Spirit knows we don't want a shitty version of it. So he keeps us by ourselves in partnerships, in businesships, in relationships. That's it for right now, I think, with that. Mm, believe. Yes. Whoa. LOL. Hey, Elizabeth. You want a card? Thank you. I wasn't going to ask because I just got this sesh, but I won't say no. Yeah. I love this stuff, man. It clears me out. Sends you on the right way. Make sure you guys all let me know how you feel. The law of attraction assembles all cooperative relationships. A lot of people are in the relationship place. A lot of people are wanting to manifest better relationships in their lives. A lot, of, you know, as you lift your vibration, your relationships change. You want better ones. That's why a lot of people are looking into this right now because the relationship, the the vibration is just shifting, and we don't have whether we signed up or not. Ascension is happening whether we signed up or not. <clears throat> so Rebecca, there's this vortex of becoming. A vortex that contains all of the requests, all of the amendment, amended requests, each and every detail of each and every asking that has emanated from you. You heard that, right? So you can amend them. You can change them as you're going through, right? The law of attraction is responding to your vibration. The vortex is literally drawing in all things necessary for the completion of every request it contains. All cooperative components are being summoned and are coming up for the completion of these creations. For the answering of these questions and for the solution to these problems. So, you know, things are coming up and coming around. You know, there goes the healing circle. Uh, when I work on people, I put that in. Let me just give me a message for Rebecca. You know, it's okay to want better relationships. And, 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 you know, a lot of times we're manifesting better relationships from relationships that aren't that great. And so, you know, the, I think the last card I pulled was something about show appreciation. That's what helps. You know, thinking about what you want in relationships. If your relationships are all off, that's a number three. <coughs> it's time to fi sit down and figure out what do you really want. A lot of people don't know what they want. I get it. Mother Mary. Woo, Rebecca. I love Mother Mary. Mother Mary is unconditional love. You know, <clears throat> a lot of times we don't feel... Like, we have that unconditional love. Mother Mary is always there for us. And so, you know, a lot of people say, I'm super weird. But Mother Mary comes down, wraps her wings around you, gives you unconditional love, lets you know that you are a vessel of unconditional love, that you can have these amazing relationships that you envision in your mind. You just have to wait and be patient. <clears throat> Give love while your relationships come in. Nature. Go out into nature. You know, if you're trying to 
attract these relationships, attract these relationships. And, um, it feels like it's not working out, you know, switch your brain, go into nature, get into a relationship with the trees and the birds and the bees and, you know, the cold. If you're where I'm at and it's crisp, get involved with the cold. That's some Dr. Stu stuff. Oh, I love it. I I know when spirit comes flowing through me, it is like Dr. Seuss. Ding, ding, ding. I love you too. I love you guys. I love you too. I'm a huge overthinker. Comes with anxiety. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> anxiety is when you're thinking about the future. You know, if you, and it's funny because we think, think, think so much about the future. Um, and we forget to be here now. And so that that's a big thing about this card is like an overthinker and anxiety. And so when you find yourself overthinking or when you find yourself with anxiety, you have to train your brain. You have to train your brain to calm down. You have to ask to not be an overthinker, to keep your brain occupied on other things, to switch, to be able to switch and navigate through things a little bit different. Wow. Thank you. This is on point. I love you got bumped off back hey oh hey sunshine hey love love the enemy oh yeah 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 we really got to we got to smother the enemy with love that's how we're gonna win it's a war out here and only love is real and love has to smother the enemy you can't feed the enemy you gotta smother the enemy yeah feeling a card for you yes elizabeth i fucking love your guts are you fucking kidding me I just did a bunch of energy work. I'm feeling it. I'm on the fucking roof right now with this shit. I can find harmony by feeling for improved thoughts. It's what I talk about all the time, right? Improved thoughts. You know, the, your thoughts are webs and they're out here and, and you make these thoughts and they go out here and then that's where you're linking up with all your desires are out in this web, in this fabric. If we were contemplating an action that caused negative emotion, we would not proceed with the action until we had resolved the negative emotion. Because if you send out that negative emotion, you're going to get that back. We would make sure that we had come into alignment with source before proceeding. So no matter what happens, that's the thing. You know, take your emotions, take your triggers to source. It doesn't matter if you fuck up and say it first, right? It doesn't matter. Eventually, somehow, take it to source after you fucked up. Let me get it again, right? By feeling for the improved thought in time, usually in a short time, you will feel the harmony of your source, thinking an improved thought. You don't have to be fucking perfect right now, right? And you will know the appropriateness of your behavior. We would not look for the long list of right and wrong, but instead we would feel for the emotion of alignment with source, alignment with source, align, alignment. Elizabeth, give me some angel cards for Elizabeth. No way. There's like a hundred there. <laughs> Sometimes my, I'm too high vibe. Shielding. Uh, you know, learn how to protect yourself. Do you know how to protect yourself? I just put up a mirror. You can do it any way you want, right? Um, a lot of times our thoughts are on our own, right? So protect yourself. Put up a barrier. I put up mirrors and I have them deflect taken the thought that someone else is sending me or the vibration that someone else is sending me transmute it into unconditional love so it blasts them back you know that's how i shield off i make it fucking simple like really this stuff is simple friendship you know lean in on your friends right now that are good so you know if you have good friends in your life tell them thank you for being my friend man you know i'm sorry if, if i came across crazy to you i'm sorry if i you know you're amazing Ooh, Metatron. I fucking love Metatron because Metatron knows what it's like to be us. Metatron was Enoch. I was just talking about Metatron today. Call on Metatron, Elizabeth. Call on Metatron. Call, ask, you know, look at the cube. Meditate on Metatron. Learn about Metatron, Enoch. Um, there's some real strength in this. There's some real strength in shielding off to be able to move the way you move to be able to create the life that you want to create you know our archangels are all around us and you know nobody can tell you how they do it um nobody can tell you how it works but you you know nobody can tell you how archangel metatron works with you until you know how you work with archangel metatron so ask 
Metatron for signs of how you can connect with him and work with him. More mirror work. Yeah, mirror work is huge. It's me, inserts tears. You know, a big thing is to look right in the mirror in your eye. I mean, that's like the, the gateway to the soul and ask yourself real things. Tell yourself real things. You know, you can ask things from here and you can tell things in here. Tears are good. They're release on point. Yes, yes. So true. Word up. More love. I got it. Beautiful cards. Thank you, love. Send it with love to the universe. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Love you. I've been asking myself that for years. What my work is meant to be. I love it. Love it. Brian. Hello. Hi, Sarah. Card and energy would be great. Okay. Ready, Stacy. I love you, Stacy. That was dope. A lot of solar plexus stuff going on in there. You should be feeling it in your gut. Be releasing some stuff. Inspired action is always pleasurable action. Creating with your hands. In being inspired. Intentional. The dominance of your thoughts is what brings everything to you and is what is behind the action you offer. By seeking good feeling thoughts that align with your source, your action will then always feel good. You cannot muster enough action to compensate for the misaligned thought, but action is inspired from aligned thought is always pleasurable action. So like, you know, when you think the thought and you feel the thought and then you take the action on the thought, like that's how it feels good. Um, that's how you feel pleasure for creating. That's how you get turned on for the creating. <coughs> you know, you're the creator of your experience. It's all in your hands. Angels give me card first. Stacy, I love your um, symbol, by the way. <laughs> keys upside down. That's what the world feels like right now. I mean, I see the greatness in everyone, but I see everyone like, ah! I'm not okay! Come on, angels. Give me a card for Stacey. This might be it. We might be running out of energy here. I mean, I always... Ah. They're like, be patient. Ooh. Learn something new. Do you see that pink dress? To me, that's unconditional love. You know, you might be wanting to learn something new, but not really quite sure if you should. And that unconditional love all over you, feel that all over you to be inspired by your heart. You know, learning something new that you desire in your heart. Inspired action to learn something new. Uh, and it's like, she's like touching her foot in this pool. So... Maybe your inspired action to learn something new has something to do with your feelings. <laughs> I love you because she's like dipping her foot in her feelings. You know, your feelings. Of, what are your feelings about learning something new? You are safe to learn something new. Ride it out. You see her riding out. She's in pink too. You're safe. Put that pink on you. Put that pink dress on. No, you're safe. <clears throat> pleasurable. All right. So inspired action is always pleasurable. Pleasurable is in your feelings. Getting in touch with your feelings. Maybe you should learn about how to feel your feelings. Uh, and know it's safe to feel your feelings. Because if you are, have a hard time feeling your feelings, 
Inspired action is hard. If you are having a hard time feeling your feelings, inspired action is really hard. Your inspiration comes from your gut. Your feelings come from your gut. Your fears and guilt and everything, shame is stored in your gut. So clear out your gut, 528. Put yourself in love. Learn something new that you love. Like, even if it's pottery, you think it's not going to make you any money. My cat's fired up in the name of love. Right, do we have any more angel cards for Stacy? That's a lot. Sorry, guys. I'll try to be... Okay. Expression. She's wearing the blue. She's wearing her expression like an umbrella. You know, maybe something about... Maybe you need to express your feelings. And then you'll be able to be inspired. Oh, thanks, Zoe. So serendipitous when we chill. I love you, homegirl. I love you, too. And I love chilling with you. Yes, gratitude. Yes, thank you. Uh, hi, Sarah. Hi, Rachel. Glad to see you. Glad to see you, too, boo. Yes, it's cold. I'm in Wisconsin. I'm sending you love. I tell everybody I meet that lives at the beach, like, hey, every once in a while, when you think about my crazy ass, can you just send me some warm? I believe that works just like energy work. Hi, Carmen. Hi, cuz. I love you, too. Amethyst is great for anxiety. Yeah, and so is Rose Quartz. So I got this. Amethyst and Rose Quartz at my retreat. Both really good for anxiety. And a lot of times, guys, if you're feeling anxious or you're feeling anxiety, that's the shift in the vibration of the planet. You just need to ground in and clear that up. You're good. Love you. Ha <laughs> ha. Real angels. Yo, bro. Med is awesome. Med is fucking awesome. I feel like Archangel Metatron sometimes in my guts, too. Love this one. Pleasurable actions. Mmm. These are really awesome cards. Yeah, I really love this Abraham Hicks deck. It's an Abraham Hicks deck. Um, the Vortex, getting into the Vortex. You know, I, I just like, I forget, maybe Dina was saying, I love Abraham Hicks. Well, ha. Huh? Okay, I really need to get to bed. I have to work in the morning, but I will come back for the replay and re-listen to my messages and see what I missed, if there's any other stuff I was supposed to hear. Have a great night, everyone, and thank you, Sarah. I love you lots. I love you, too. I love you guys too. I love you because we're all connected. I've been on here for a long time. <laughs> I love you guys. You know, if anybody wants to book a session with me, message me, let me know. Um, it gets a little deeper than this, but this is like a roundabout of it. You know, you guys are all perfect just the way you are. You know, people come out like earth angels to help people when they feel low um, you know, and then it makes it easier to invest in yourself. It makes it easier to trust yourself. You know, I just hooked up with a web designer and I was so nervous to trust a web designer. You know, I needed so much help with it. I couldn't do it. I needed help and I didn't trust it. Isn't that so funny? And then like, finally, you know, the universe sent it to me. So where I could trust it, that's how I love it. I, I love how things go. You know, I love how we create by what we feel. And I was just feeling like, I would love to just have somebody help me with my website that I can trust. <laughs> You're welcome, Stacy. You're awesome. You're awesome, too. Girl, we're only as good as the energy we receive out here. Who the fuck knows what's going on half the time? Just be love. Be love. Give love. You know, when you give out, that's why I came out and gave out all this love. When you give out, you get back. I don't know what's going to come back. I'm not expecting any one thing. But I know it's going to be great. All right, guys. I love you because we're all connected. You know, love yourself. Believe in yourself. Thank you very much for everything. Thank you with all my heart, baby girl. Thank you for being a mom. Thank you. You know, that's why I want to give love. I know sometimes just little simple things, you know, it gets hard sometimes. Like, you know, and even people with smiles on their faces, sometimes they're inside like, fuck, does anyone see me? I see you, boo. I see you all. You know, I know that these energies are flipping and turning and moving, but I know your love. I know there's a divine purpose. I love you because we're all connected. One love. Good night.